Hey YouTube, uh, sorry it's been such a long time since uh, the last review that I've done. What I want to do today isn't uh, as much of a review as it is a comparison. I decided to do this uh, because in, in looking at, at this particular fragrance um, on Base Notes and, and Fragrantica, this is Tom Ford's Oud Wood. Um, I, I, I've seen some comments that, that basically say, you know, Tom Ford also did this, okay, M7. By the way, this is, yeah, this is the reformulated version. Still a monster. Uh -huh. Really good stuff, but still a, a, a monster, absolutely. Uh, but, you know, like I said, I've seen some comments saying that, you know, since Tom Ford was at Yves Saint Laurent and, and essentially overseeing this, and since this has oud in it, um, that it's similar enough to this is kind of what I gather from the comments that, you know, why even spend the 195 bucks on 50 mils of this when you can get 100 mils of this much cheaper? I mean, essentially the, the comments are just, you know, why are you spending your money on this? Buy this. It's cheaper. It's Tom Ford. It's got oud in it. Uh, so I want to do a comparison today because um, I, I don't know that that's that's an entirely fair um, to to say you know don't don't look at this don't buy this because you know like I said all the things that were said about this so I'm I'm actually going to do a do a little side by side here really quickly and I'm going to tell you what I get from these and uh, you know this is of course my opinion this is what I smell this is what I experience. And you're just going to kind of have to draw your own conclusions from these. Now, as far as the oud wood is concerned, um, you can definitely uh, sample this from the you know Tom Ford boutiques. There's one in Vegas. Uh, I would imagine there's more around the country. Um, M7, you're not going to be able to sample this really. Um, you're going to have a really... I blind bought this. Uh, and it was a heck of, a, of an experience, uh, might I add. So... This is about $195 for 50 milliliters, and I think I paid about 110 for 100 milliliters of this. Um, once again, this is the reformulated version. Um, it is a beast. You're going to get at least uh, eight hours with both of these. Um, this one is going to be a lot more subtle. It's not going to be nearly the projection monster that this is. Um, but uh, you know, from what I understand, the, the the original version, the original formulation of this, is even more of a monster than this is which is kind of hard to believe. But uh, here we go. I'm going to go ahead, uh, initial spray. I'm just going to spray it on paper. There you go. Got some M7 right there. Put the cap back on. And, ooh, that is nice. I haven't worn that in a little while. It's not really a good uh, warm weather scent. Maybe you can pull it off in the warm weather. Um, but it's, it's getting pretty warm here in Salt Lake, so I, I, I really haven't been wearing it much. Um, it's a little harder to wear. Anyway, there we go. Little Tom Ford Oud Wood. And uh, I'll give you some, you know, my initial impression. So, the interesting thing about M7 is that when you're here, when you've got the scent right in your face, whether it's on your wrist, you know, wherever it is, what you're going to get is uh, what some people describe as, as almost a cherry cough syrup vibe. And you will. You'll, you'll definitely get that. Now, the weird thing is, is, you know, the farther away you get, the more it's going to smell like smoky, burning wood. Um, really interesting. I actually brought this stuff to work one day because I, I had worn it to work. I uh, let a guy at work smell it. And, um, you know, he was, he's, he's kind of into fragrances. He's got, you know, maybe 10 bottles or so, which is more than, than most normal people. Uh, so I, I wore this to work. I let him smell it. He liked it. He was, you know, maybe even thinking about picking up a bottle. So I, I brought my bottle to work and, and I sprayed some on his wrist. And it, it was, it was an eye opener for me because it helped me see what other people experience when, when I wear it. Because, you know, for me, like I said, you know, it's right here, it's in my face. I'm getting a cherry cough syrup type of vibe to it. It's not, it's not really offensive. I mean, if other people smell that, yeah, you know, some of them might not like it a lot. But, but uh, when I would walk by this guy throughout the day, from about two or three feet away, I didn't smell cherry cough syrup. What I smelled was smoke. 
I smelled smoke, you know, that you, that you might get off of burning wood. I mean, it was very smoky. It was an extremely different experience from two or three feet away than it was right up close. Um, so anyway, uh, M7, just smelled that. Definitely getting that, that very medicinal uh, cherry cough syrup vibe. Now, here is the Tom Ford Oud Wood. Completely different. This you're going to get just a really spicy, woody scent. Um, you will get a medicinal vibe to this, um, but not a cherry cough syrup medicinal vibe. M7 is very sweet, and that's kind of where that whole cherry cough syrup vibe comes in. It's medicinal. You're going to get some medicinal from this too. This is going to smell like cherry cough syrup. This is going to smell nothing like cherry cough syrup. This is spicy and woody and medicinal and just pleasant. It's pretty darn pleasant. So, two completely different scents. Um, now, as far as versatility is concerned, uh, like I said, that the day that I put this on that guy at work and was able to experience what other people experience when I wear it and they're around me two or three feet away, I realized this is probably not a good one to be wearing to the office. Now, I'm sure most of you are going to watch this video and say, duh, you know, you're a moron. Why, why would you wear it to work in the first place? But, like I said, eye opener not very versatile. I do like this scent. Um, when I wear it, I find the best way to wear it is I'll, I'll put some on my chest and I'll put it on the back of my neck so that it's not right here, right in my face. Um, and that makes it, you know, a lot more pleasant to wear. I mean, this is good stuff. I do like it. In fact, I, I would, I like both of these. I would rate both of these. Um, scale of one to ten, I'd give both of these um, a seven. You know, they're both good fragrances. Not really good. I don't love them, but they're good. Seven. On a scale of one to ten, I think that's a good rating. Um, so like I said, not very versatile. You're going to find a much harder time, uh, you know, finding a time and place to wear this uh, than you are this, because this is, this is much simpler. Uh, it's you know, spicy, it's woody, it's medicinal, um, but it's not that thick cherry cough syrup and then, you know, burning wood smoke two or three feet away from you. It's not... It's, it's, it's not weird. Let me put it that way. It's really not that weird. Um, it's pretty pleasant. And because it is so, you know, uncomplicated, if you will, this is great one for layering. And so kind of like with your, uh, you know, with your Tom Ford Private Blend, your Joe Malone's, your, your Bond Number no. 9's, um, you know, this stuff is, is great for layering. In fact, when I when I bought it, I bought it at the I bought it at the Neiman Marcus in Vegas, and the sales lady really went out of her way. I mean, she hooked me up with um, four little bottles of of uh, other fragrances as well to layer on top of it. So I got this uh, Noir de Noir, some Azure Lime, um, I got uh, Italian Cypress, I got Arabian Wood, and then she gave me a bunch of little um, samples of. Uh, lavender palm and now this stuff right here you layer this Noir de Noir which is also an oud fragrance it's, it's kind of an oudy rosy fragrance on top of this and that turns this from a 7 into an 8 great combination uh, so with this like I said you're just gonna get um, really spicy really woody you're gonna get uh, some somewhat of a medicinal tone to it just very nice not super overpowering it's just gonna kind of waft up it you know throughout the day and 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 catch you and, and it's you know it's, it's pretty pleasant like I said um, and then uh, as as you get further into the day it's it's gonna sweeten a bit you're gonna get uh, maybe a little vanilla at the end it'll get a little sweeter um, and like I said, with this stuff, you're just going to get a really intense cherry cough syrup. Other people are going to smell smokiness. You'll occasionally get a waft of smokiness, um, and, and it will mellow a, a little later in the day, and it will become um, much more pleasant. Like I said, I like them both. Um, they're both good fragrances. They are nothing alike. The only thing that is even remotely similar about them um, is that they both have a medicinal vibe to them. Other than that, Wow, they're different. So, you know, don't don't buy this and think that you don't need to try this, okay? And, you know, same thing. Don't buy this and, and think that, you know, you shouldn't try this. They're both good fragrances. And uh, that's my take. Hope you enjoyed the, hope you enjoyed the comparison. Uh, please uh, rate, comment, or subscribe. 
uh, if you give me a thumbs down, please just let me know why. You know, give me some some feedback, some tips. This is only my third review slash comparison. You know, if you didn't like it, you know, that's that's fine. We're all entitled to our own opinion. Just let me know what I can do to uh, improve for future reviews and comparisons. Thanks a lot.